Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today mods tutorial, we are going to install a Spider-Man 5 as you can see which has just released by two of these good creators. So guys, let's jump into the installation. So guys, as you know, we need to have some of the plugins, the script hook 5, the script hook.net, native UI and open IV to install this mod because it is with a package installer sub file. And guys, you need to have uh, add-on pads, the Spider-Man Civil War 2 composite this mod with this suit it looks good so guys uh, make sure to check out the description box i will provide the link for all of this file now let's jump in the installation so guys make sure to extract all of this file to the desktop okay okay now open your gta 5 installation directory guys so where you had installed your gta 5 and guys i'm using a steam version a digit version so it's okay if you're using a cd version okay so let's start in the copy so first of all you need to copy this two file so click on copy and paste into the directory now the script hook.net.asi click on copy and paste it over here and guys the next thing is you need to create a mods folder so guys if it doesn't have a mods folder into your gta5 it's very easy click on new click on folder and name this folder as a mods like for example and guys uh, after let me okay so after creating a mods guys you need to copy one of the original rpf the into 64a so click on copy and paste this file into the mods folder paste it over here so as you can see i already had a around pads folder in my mods folder so guys you also need to have iron pads so make sure to copy this into 64a inside the mods folder guys now we'll install the main script for that open the open iv Select the Windows GTA 5. So after opening the programs, guys, click on Tools, click on Package Installer, and select this file, guys, Spider-Man 5. As you can see it over here. Select this file. Now click on Open. So guys, here you can see a installation tab. So click on Install, guys. And as you can see, uh, that's why we always say to create a mods folder. It will uh, install this file inside the mods folder as well as it will create a script folder if it doesn't have it. Uh, okay. So click on mods folder. So it will uh, replace the file from into 64A. So it hardly takes some seconds. Now don't run the game. Click on close. And as you can see guys, into 64. So that's why we need to create this mods folder. And script folder guys, inside the script folder you can see a uh, Two, one folder and two files spider-man in audio dll and the spider-man dot dll okay so the next uh, next last step guys we need to copy the spider-man civil war suit for these guys i hope you had installed a uh, add-on pads mod if you doesn't have make sure to watch my some of the video i made many of the mods tutorial for add-on pads in my gta5 video okay guys now go inside the mods folder, update 64 DLC pack, add on pads, DLC RPF and open this pad file and guys copy any of the Spider-Man as you want so there are many of the options so I will select the Spider-Man Civil War before doing anything guys click on edit mode, click on yes so guys select this four file and drag it over here that's it, now close this one now open a GTA file directory now open add on pad editor run this file as administrator now we need to install this pad so guys uh, click on pads click on add pad and uh, for pad name it should be anything like spider-man Spider and for pad model name guys it should be accurate what is written over here so click on f2 copy this name and uh, paste it over here instead of the pad type to normal click on add pad and click on rebuild that's it now close this open iv Clo close this as well and the last thing guys inside the script folder you need to copy the native ui so just select and drag it over here so we are done with installing the mods guys now we'll jump in the game and we'll show you the mods working on now. 